This is KTVO's Good Morning Heartland. And welcome back. It's now time for our Wellness Wednesday segment with Lone Star Physiques. We have Stephanie McGrew here this morning. And in fact, we're taking our workout outside because yes. it is gorgeous outside. So it we're going to utilize the nice weather we have in the heartland. Yes, please do. <laughs> get out, get active. Yes. And also <laughs> another excuse of not having time to go to the gym because you can do it right outside exactly. your front yard. Exactly. All right. So what are we going to be doing today? Well, today I decided to find things that I feel like a lot of people might have access to. Uh -huh. So. I know I bought new tires recently and I just kept my old ones and I actually use them quite a bit. And then also a gallon water jug you can get at your local store. So, All right. Yeah. So we're going to do different workouts with these two things, yes, correct? Yes, we are. All right. The first one we're going to utilize the tire, correct? Yes. So the good thing about the tire is it's flimsy so if you fall on it, it shouldn't hurt. Uh -huh. So it's, a good, it's like a safety hazard, okay. I guess. <laughs> okay. So maybe uh, do it in the grass your first yes. time. Okay, okay, so what's the first workout? So the called? first one what you're gonna do is just tire hops. Okay. And what I do is you're gonna keep your feet together. Okay. And you're literally just gonna jump in the tire, out, in, and out. Okay. So there you go. And how many of these do you wanna do? This one I actually like to time it and say, okay, go 30 oh. or 45 seconds. Gotcha. So that way you can get your own pace and then okay. you're like, okay, you have 10 seconds left, okay, then you can go faster. Okay, perfect. So what's our next one? So the next one is kind of just like a foot drill. I call it footwork. Uh -huh. And all you're going to do is you're just going to kind of, you're going to do like a dance okay. kind of, dance hop kind right. of thing. And I see a lot of athletes do this yes. during their training yes. camp. So It helps with speed and agility okay. and just getting your feet up and being able to And you want to do it the whole time, seeing how many you can do in like 30 seconds yep. or so? Exactly. Okay. Great. And I like this one as well because it teaches my clients rhythm. Because oh. then I have to. <laughs> <laughs> Which sometimes I do not have. <laughs> All right, so. so. Now we're done with that one. Okay. For now. And so the next one is we're going to use the water jug. Okay. So what we're going to do for the first one is we're going to work on the legs and you're okay. going to squat. All right. And the key is you're going to start down here uh -huh. and you're just going to bring the water all the way up. Okay. And you're just going to do that for, and a lot of these, like I said, a lot of my outside workouts, I kind of switch it up and I, I'll time it. Okay. And of course, when you do your squat, you want to remember the proper stance, exactly. right? Exactly. And make sure you're actually sitting into it and that you're not protruding forward with your knees over your feet. Okay, now this one, are we doing your magic number of 15? Yes. <laughs> okay. Good. All right. And, and so for the next one, okay. it's, um, I like to call it a push press. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're just going to squat and you're going to hold it out for about three seconds and then bring it back into you. Okay. So we got the squat down. Mm -hmm. We're going to do this. Hold it out for a couple seconds. Mm -hmm. And bring it back in. And you also said that if you wanted to for starters or maybe for it to be a little bit harder to go up against a wall. Yep, you can do a wall sit with this as well. And okay. I would say if you're going to do a wall sit, you can do any of the gallon water exercises with the wall. It makes it a little bit harder because it's forcing you to really use your legs. Okay. <laughs> not that a squat's not, but it just right. makes it a little bit more focused. All right, and for our final exercise? And very last one. Okay. I like to call this just the squat sweep. Okay. So you're going to squat and you're just going to sweep the water side to side. Okay. Now, is this working out more than just your legs with this oh, one? Oh, yeah. It's working your torso, your core, because the key is you want to make sure that you're sucking your belly button in, making sure your core is tight, and also making sure you're not twisting too much to hurt yourself, but just enough to make sure you're twisting. That way you have the movement side to side with the, the water as a weight. And how many of these do you want to do? I, like this one, would, I would do for a time. Like, oh, okay. Like, okay, go for 30 seconds. Okay, gotcha, So that gotcha. way you can go slow and steady and make sure not to hurt yourself. Perfect. So what we'll do is we'll post all of this on our website at ktbo.com. We'll link up your information as okay. well if they have any questions or concerns. And of course, you're always having new workouts that yes. you post on a regular basis as well as some recipes and stuff and recipes like that. Recipes and classes and just check out the website. We Which post all lately you had some free classes and I know that will probably continue yep. throughout the year. So yeah. make sure to like her on Facebook yes. and of course uh, follow her on her <laughs> website as well. <laughs> I'm always out of breath when I'm with you, and I, I'm, I'm sure that's a good thing. It is. It's but a workout. having to do the show afterwards is not a good thing. So I'm going to catch my breath, and then we're going to toss it to break. Sound good? Perfect. Sounds good. All right, and we'll be right back.